So we all know that Alzheimer's disease is a devastating disease that results in memory loss and ultimately difficulty to do even the smallest tasks. Now, it's a progressive disease that is very difficult to diagnose and we have no good uh, treatment to halt progression and no cure currently. But we do know that cardiovascular disease risk factors such as hypertension, sedentary lifestyle, diabetes, all of those are risk factors for Alzheimer's disease. For example, diabetes will increase the risk for Alzheimer's by 65%. The NIH, or the National Institutes of Health, has put out a call to challenge researchers from all different fields to join the fight against Alzheimer's. And to this end, we assembled a team of four people, a neuroscientist and three vascular biologists. Our goal is to find a signature in the blood that it reflects what's happening in the vasculature as it becomes dysfunctional, leading to Alzheimer's disease. Hydrogen sulfide is a gasotransmitter that's normally involved in nerve transmission, as well as the control of blood vessel contraction and dilation. There are several different forms of hydrogen sulfide, and we normally associate hydrogen sulfide as being highly protective in the setting of cardiovascular disease. What we found in the study, which was quite surprising, was that there are forms of hydrogen sulfide that were elevated and could be closely correlated with the severity of dementia in Alzheimer's disease. What we found was that hydrogen sulfide was elevated in people with dementia. So um, we measured their cognitive function, and um, as cognitive function declined, hydrogen sulfide went up, which was interesting because hydrogen sulfide is a known marker of uh, cardiovascular disease. Um, what surprised us is that cardiovascular, in cardiovascular disease, hydrogen sulfide goes down when people have more severe disease. So we were very surprised that it went up. In addition, we were able to, to discriminate between folks who had dementia and folks who did not have dementia just based solely on their level of hydrogen sulfide in their plasma. This is something that was really unanticipated, and we think that it will lead to the development of new diagnostics, prognostic and therapeutic approaches for Alzheimer's disease.